Sunshine and 31 degrees today, but it won't last into the weekend. Heavy showers and thunderstorms and then turning cooler. I'll have all the details of that and more coming up on Good Morning Britain. Friday. No For you, Laura, obviously, I would not make the mistake of calling this a heat wave. Who would do that? <laughs> <laughs> I think everyone's very excited. We have a few days of warm weather in a typical British style. It is set to come crashing to an end on Saturday. But let me give you the details. So, yes, yesterday we got to 28 degrees Celsius. Here's how hot it's set to be as we head through the next few days. Today is the peak in our temperature, as Nick was saying, 31 degrees Celsius. Cooler tomorrow, but significantly cooler if the heat is too much for you from this weekend onwards. Is it a heat wave? The big question. We need a threshold of temperatures. So these are the temperatures we need across the country to get a heat wave. Now, we had 28 degrees yesterday. We've got 31 degrees today, potentially 28. So maybe just into the heat wave category for a few places, but it will not last. But it's worth bearing in mind, this is not us being party poopers, the alert that Nick was just talking about. This is for health and social care settings for the very young and very vulnerable. A report out today from Friends of the Earth said that there are 6 million people in this category of very young people under five, very old people or people with chronic illnesses that this high temperatures will be terrible for. And they actually issued this on the two year anniversary of the highest temperature the UK has ever recorded, which yes, was 40.3 degrees Celsius two years ago today. And this across the UK was part of a huge heat wave that we had. And we had in excess of three and a half thousand deaths from these high temperatures. And across Europe, there were 61,000 deaths. So high temperatures can be very worrying. Thankfully for us, nowhere near as warm as this, this weekend. But it is worth pointing out that not everybody seeing the warmth and the sunshine. It is largely for England and Wales. It is cloudier and wetter and cooler further north and west. This is the very latest satellite and radar. It is largely dry across the country. Some shallow mist and fog will soon burn off. But it's England and Wales that has the best of the sunshine today. Scotland and Northern cloudy and cool with outbreaks of rain in the northwest later. So here's how things pan out as we head through the next seven days. The north of the UK is closer to low pressure. So temperatures here, no great shake. Scotland, Northern Ireland, northern areas of England, temperatures, yes, it's above average for some today, but sitting around about average for the rest of the week. Percentage chance of rainfall across the north of the UK. It is largely dry today, but that weather front moves in later, bringing rain for tomorrow. Sunday is your driest day of the weekend, and then the mix into next week. Fortunes further south for England and Wales for the next seven days. Well, temperatures today are way above average, and they stay above average for tomorrow, but then they slowly start to moderate, but still staying above where we should be, and in the sunshine, feeling very nice indeed. Worth pointing out some warm nights to come. Today is dry, hot and sunny. Tomorrow it is all change and that's when it turns cooler for many. Place to be to cool down in these high temperatures with that onshore flow. How hot is it set to be and how long is it set to last? Well, 31 degrees today will make it the hottest day of the year so far. A little bit down tomorrow, cooler for the rest of the weekend. Welcome news if the heat is too much for you. Now, is it a heat wave? This is what we need to have a heat wave. You need these temperatures across the country for three days in a row, 28 across the southeast. Potentially a chance of getting that tomorrow, but it certainly won't last. And amazingly, two years ago today, it was the hottest day the UK has ever recorded. We got to 40.3 degrees Celsius. So. This is a two-year anniversary of that record temperature. We haven't got those today, thankfully. It's 10 degrees down on that. But still, for some, the heat and humidity too much. You have a heat health alert for very young and old people and very vulnerable to the heat. So make sure you look out for those and take extra care. How is it looking for us for today, then? Well, it is sunny spells for many. We have cloudy skies for Scotland and Northern Ireland. So temperatures here just a little above average. A weather front in the west bringing outbreaks of rain, so cooler here. But the high temperatures for England and Wales, 29 degrees, 30. 31, and it means UV levels are high to very high. Tonight, we have a tropical night for some. Temperatures may not fall lower than 20 degrees, but all change from the west. So tomorrow, we keep the heat and humidity through eastern areas, but from the west, very quickly, cloud and rain looks set to move in with heavy rain and thunderstorms, and top temperatures tomorrow could just get into the mid to high 20s. Good morning to you. Today is set to be the hottest day of the year so far, 31. If the heat's too much for you, change comes tomorrow and it's cooler for the rest of the week. But these are our peak temperatures. Not everybody's seeing these. Today, yes, there's lots of dry, sunny weather around, but not for everybody. The satellite and radar shows it is largely dry. A weather front from the west brings with it clouds. So clouding over for Scotland and Northern Ireland, a southerly flow brings a lot of moisture through these Irish sea coasts, so fairly misty and murky. England and Wales top temperature up to 29 or 30 in the north, 31 degrees in the south, but cooler with the cloud and rain in the north and west. 
Tonight is a warm and humid one, but here comes the rain. So tomorrow, a band of rain in the west moves eastwards, pushing away that heat and humidity. It lasts longest in the east, but thunderstorms move in from the west.